Ashley and I'm back with another video and we're gonna be doing another reaction and this is uh, IO inform overload and this is their top 10 scary social media disasters that could have been avoided are good connections and some can end in disaster i'm counting down the top 10 scary social media she's not even on here anymore this video is so you, old no march 31st i had this day to watch Charlotte and you guys are potatoes if you're offended about being called potato don't worry it's a compliment subscribe for training news updates that don't suck top 10 lists of lots of potatoes your dad probably could have the weekend i recorded this video and follow the io team on social media so we can connect outside of youtube let's slide on into number 10 with a twitter argument twitter exchanges can get pretty heated sometimes yeah there's a lot you can say with 140 characters apparently enough to cause someone 240 to now Jemek Blake and Kawami Dancy were childhood friends, best friends reportedly since they were 12, but they had a falling out over Twitter. Jemek Blake said that they used to argue a lot and he would usually back down, but one day he decided not to back down after he saw something Kawami wrote on Twitter to a friend. Kawami tweeted a threatening message and Jemek went over to his apartment, they lived on the same floor in the same building, and killed him with a shotgun. Then after he committed the murder, he immediately went on Twitter and tweeted, rest in peace Kawami. Jemek pleaded wow. and was sentenced to 21 years years in prison. Wow. For an argument, you went and blew your fucking so-called friend's face off. And then got back on social media to say, wow, why don't you just tweet, I fucking killed my friend. You wouldn't let me win an argument, so the bitch had to die. We could be crazy, man. At number nine, we have Rachel Wade. Rachel Wade and Sarah Ludman were, how you say, arch nemeses. For months, Sarah posted photos of herself on MySpace with her new boyfriend, Josh. MySpace. Something kind of normal. You get a boyfriend, you post some photos. Josh's ex-girlfriend, Rachel Wade, kept asking Sarah to stop posting the photos. She more like threatened Sarah. They harassed each other for months and left threatening voicemails. Here is a transcript of one of them. Please tell me, Sarah, why you would be a dumb donkey brat and put a brand new picture donkey of you to the beach on your MySpace. Seriously, I told you to watch your back and not to chill with him. I'm guaranteeing you that I'm going to murder you. I'm letting you know that now. Wade then went over to Sarah's house to confront her, which led to a physical altercation, where Rachel stabbed Sarah in the chest with a kitchen knife and watched as she died. Rachel was sentenced to 20. Okay, so I get the theme of uh, scary social media disasters. I'm gonna say it again. People are fucking scary, man. Because she was posting pictures with her now boyfriend, and it's your ex. That's a lifetime movie. 27 years in prison. And the raid is the Facebook love triangle. Two women, Tori Lynn Emery and Danielle Booth, got into a high speed car chase after they were fighting on Facebook for months over some guy that was in prison. When Tori saw Danielle wow. driving with a friend, she started chasing them in her car with her three year old daughter in the back seat. Tori ran the car in front of her several times until it ran a red light and was hit by a dump truck. Danielle's friend Abernathy, who was driving, passed away instantly, and Danielle was in critical condition. According to Tori's mother, I quote, the girl had been threatening on Facebook. But according to police, Booth had filed a report against her on Tuesday, complaining that she was harassing and threatening her. Tori got 18 to 60 years for several charges, including child endangerment. At number seven, we have Edward Richardson. When you're changing your relationship status back to single, it can be pretty tough. You're basically announcing to everyone you know that you're on the market again, and also that your relationship ended. When Edward Richardson saw that his wife Sarah changed her relationship status to single, he freaked. Their marriage his was already wife? <laughs> not even divorced. She said, "This never happened. I'm single." Pretty on the rocks, and they were separated. Scott tried to contact her via Facebook, but when she didn't answer, she went to Sarah's parents' home, where she had moved back in, broke in by breaking the front door window, and confronted her with a knife. He then tried to take his own life, but was arrested before he was able. He got 17 years. At number six is Houston's Schlicker. 
In the days of MySpace, it seems like everyone was addicted to the site. It was the first social media site, and people were like, they were into it. People were into it. Houston Schlicker was so addicted to it that when his father threatened to ban him from using it, he committed patricide with a 12-gauge shotgun. In the previous weeks, Schlicker was threatening to take his own life. On the day of the incident, he stayed home from school. When his father said that he would take away his internet, he decided to take both their lives, but instead only ended up killing his father. He called a friend who convinced him to turn himself in. He was sentenced to 20 years. Halfway there, at number five, we have the death list. Back in August of 2010, three Colombian teenagers were found shot, but police had had no motive or leads. Five days later, the names of the deceased teens, as well as 66 others, were found on Facebook death lists. Another teen on the list was then killed three days later, and then more lists began to pop up. All the teenagers on the list were tracked down, and leaflets were placed on cars, telling them to leave Porter Assist or they would be next. To this day, no one knows who made the list or. Oh my god, that's scary. And what, were they all like foreigners? Or expats is that what it's called and they're kids that's scary that's really was scary. responsible for the crimes, just saying them and the they don't know who it is it gang related activity and at number four Sean Humphrey now listen I'm not a fan of the Facebook poke either there was always something really weird about it like yeah I get that you're flirting with me but like like you're poking me like oh it's just so like schoolyard Ugh. anyways it's such a weird way to get someone's attention <laughs> yes. back in 2014 27 year old scott humphrey was sent to jail after he beat up his friend richard in a cab humphrey was upset because apparently richard had poked his girlfriend on facebook richard told scott that he had no idea the woman was his girlfriend and meant no offense but scott kept punching richard became lightheaded from the blows and when scott punched him to the ground he hit his head on the pavement the injury ended up being fatal and scott got four years and four months wow. for manslaughter for a facebook poke in a facebook poke bro natalia burgess from new zealand had spent several months making fake facebook profiles using photos of attractive young women who she about the catch is in christ church school boys and start online relationships with according to the press after sis no wonder you out here catfishing no, i was just kidding i was just kidding that's so mean but obviously something's wrong with her ass creating an attractive new profile natalia burgess would sometimes kill the fictitious person using her other personas to break the news oh we've seen this that's some old that's definitely the catfish shit oh uh, i don't think this is gonna work oh my gosh you were friends with so-and-so she died from cancer or what other stories did they say she got in an accident and she died that's like so extreme well, I guess. What else can you do when you've been lying about who you are and you're trying to get out of it? It's a fake person, so I guess you don't feel too guilty about doing it, but still. Mm. Mm. The school boys would then visit a blog for the fake woman where they could leave rest in peace messages. 40 boys in total were victims of Natalia Burgess. A New Zealand mother, Sophie Jarrett, actually found a memorial video created for someone called Abby claiming she had died but it was her photographs. Natalia not only used photos of her, but put photos of her three-year-old daughter in the video as well. Some of the boys that had been in touch with the fictitious woman were so distraught by the news she died that they booked plane tickets to go to her funeral. They bought flowers for her hospital room, and one boy even tried to off himself and was in the hospital because of it. And at number two, we have Adam Mann. In 2010, Chef Adam Mann was creeping his ex-wife's Facebook when he read taunting comments she had written about child support. She was trying to get Adam to contribute toward raising their son. She had told the CSA mm -hmm. he lied about being unemployed and was then ordered to send payments of about 400 pounds. She updated her Facebook profile to say, now who's laughing? You've gone done big time by the CS, so leave us alone for good. Your son hates you and so do I. After reading the Facebook status, son? Adam then went to his ex-wife's house with a hammer and used it on her head. He also used a knife. Lisa, Beverly's five-year-old son, was the one that found her on the day after the murder. Wow. Uh -uh. That's why people don't. That's why people don't be like that. Date people or have children, but people, people get so fucking in their feelings and turn 
to a completely different person. I can't. Because she is dogging you about some child support that you was lying. Were you paying them or not, sir? On our list, it's Psycho Sam. Richard Alden Samuel McCroskey III was a horror horror rapper living in California who turned to horror MySpace horror? to reach out to other horror horror fans okay. and promote that's his that's music. He started talking to two women, Emma Niederbrock and her friend yeah, Melanie Wells. Not cute. Richard used the name Psycho Sam, and under that name, he would post some of his music with the lyrics like, You're not the first, just to let you know, I've killed many people, and I kill them real slow. It's the best feeling watching their last breath, stabbing and stabbing until there's nothing left. What a ray of sunshine. It seems in 2009, Psycho Sam wanted to make his lyrics a reality if he hadn't done that already. He went to Emma's home in Farmville where he attacked Emma, Melanie, and her parents. Their bodies were found battered with ICP Emma, t -shirt. and they slept. Psycho Sam got life in prison. Well, friends, there you have it. I hope this list has made you think twice about how you use social media. Usually we respond to comments at the end of our videos, but I don't think it's appropriate for this one. Ah, uh, yeah, me either. Uh -huh. To all the victims, loved ones, and anyone affected by these incidents. That is it for me, and thanks for watching IO. Wow. That's definitely not where I thought that video was headed because the like, thumbnail has like one of those in, uh, internet gimmicks like the slender man I forget what this one's name is but it was like a big deal this year alright so yeah makes me want to pay more attention to who I interact with on social media cause I'll joke around and say some weird shit with somebody Mostly it's somebody I know in real life, but most of those people knew people in real life too. Like the one who's went and shot his friend because of an argument. You never know people, I guess. <laughs> you have, have you had any scary social media inter interactions? Me, not really. Like people poking me nowadays especially nowadays like that's weird nobody does that shit anymore stop don't don't do that <laughs> but th thank you for watching the video and as usual don't forget to like leave a comment below and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye if you want me to get close to you, just tell me what to do. Tell